Hey everybody, it is me, it's PVTV, and we're back with more Completed or Deleted, and uh, that's where we go through my Humble Bundle games and see what we can get rid of. Uh, what we're going to keep and play again at a later date, or what we're just going to get rid of. Alright, select a survivor. Abigail. Passive fervor. Compassionate up to a point. Abigail builds up fervor in the heat of battle until... Does, uh, and does so faster against stronger foes. While it is maxed out, Abigail's attack speed and attack power are increased, and hitting foes grants temporary health. Fervor quickly uh, decays after the action dies down. Interesting. Krunolf. Gather mushrooms from the environment. Mushrooms help reduce bottled delicacies, cool down, and also grant a small amount of health and heroic ability. Runolf charges forward and sends the infected fly. Runolf tosses a bottle of soup that deals damage on impact and slows enemies down. Also gives survivors temporary health and beliefs boost for the movement speed. Okay, Verog. Uh, when Varog's permanent health green bar falls below 33%, it turns red and Varog enters wounded state. <laughs> wounded. Call of the Wild charges up thrice as fast. Whew. Dr. Tolerosa. Uh, killed infected have a chance to drop an infection sample. Collected samples replenish asphyxiant and help charge up the experimental cure. And Rose. Cracking nuts and taking names. Each kill increases Rose headcount meter. Some kills are worth more than others. Headcount gradually increases Rose rate of fire and movement speed, but is reset upon taking any damage. Ah, Rose leaps gracefully into the air, pulls yourself out of harm's way. Go. Redemption is at hand. The game will start shortly. So I'm assuming we're fighting monster undead of some kind. At least that's what it seems to be. Some sort of zombie infestation. We also have werewolves and plague doctors. I like the character designs in this so far. Um, the art style is really good. The river's closed off. We'll have to reach the docks the hard way then. Ah, that's my summoning spell. Okay, so it's a little different. Um, I can see now my button's down there. But that's okay. Quick command wheel. Point uh, an object or a teammate and hold alt to bring... Okay, so we got kind of like an X-Men Legends Diablo thing going here. So it does draw them to the bell, even if I'm in the vicinity, which is good. That's what I'm looking for. It's one of the reasons I took that. Movie. Okay, so you've got a fast attack that you can just keep hammering away at with A with X. Yeah, we're just kind of hammering away at the end day. Uh, yeah, I'm just swinging away at zombies and I'm dead. So yeah, very much just a Diablo kind of X-Men Legends type game. Uh, it looks not bad. Look, the art design's cool. Uh, the character design's pretty good. Like, I gotta admit, I like that. Um, control scheme's a little bit 
different compared to what I'd be used to. I'd be used to more having like an activation button rather than just swinging wildly, but... Again, that's me being a victim of the Ultimate Alliance in X-Men Legends games. Uh, that is what it is. Oop. I did not want to do that. But yeah, the design, the nun character with the giant, uh, the cross on the end, I, I think her, her design is really cool. Um. Whoa, you guys came out of nowhere. I am trying to decide whether or not I would keep this game. Um, like it's not bad. I might throw it in and play with friends at some point. On Halloween or something, right? So... You know, that's a thought. So far, the game hasn't really afforded me any story that would make me want to... That heals. That fucking regenerates health, too. Or it gives a health buff. At the very least. Whew. The executioner is lurking around. Let us end. Stay here with my little health bonus here. That's okay with all of you. Huh? Well, yeah, we'll see if I survive this. Could be interesting. Oh, you're biggins. You're biggins.
<laughs> Alright, I am the prize, big guy. Yeah. We already come this way. Pikachu, Pokemon, BBC, XY. How's it going, buddy? Thanks for tuning in. Sorry, got a little carried away killing the zombies. Witnessed my fate. Well, that didn't do quite as much as what I wanted to do, but whatever. Is what it is. Not dead yet. Um, oh, where'd you guys all come from? Just following us around? Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to cap this one for tonight. Um, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I think it might be fun to play with a group of people. Maybe on Halloween or something. Keep it around for next year. We're going to try to get a little more social next Halloween and uh, do some party games. So, you know what? I think I might hang on to this one. Uh, not that I'm going to actually probably ever finish the game, but I think I might play it with some friends just for fun. It's kind of like a fun version of Diablo. And by that, I mean it's just a little, seemingly a little more lighthearted. So, uh, that's going to be it for Darksburg. Uh, stay tuned, because I do have another game coming up. And be sure to check out the Is That All podcast for all of your geek news. You can find us anywhere you can stream and download podcasts and find us on social media at Is That All Pod. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me grow and lets me know that you guys like the content that I'm putting out there. You can find me anywhere on social media at Beefy Thiefy. Don't forget to check out more videos, especially more complete or delete.